What do you take away from the connection to this news and what players believe is connected to the lockout? Look, my first reaction when I heard the news was, what could possibly be going on? This, this seems very odd timing for him to step down. Maybe someone above him read the room and said, well, Braves and Mets, really good. Don't think we're going to be able to compete with them. Nah, we won't invest the money. That's what it seems like. And that's what a lot of players are seeing and saying about this situation. Uh, you know, there was even a report, I believe it was Joel Sherman, saying that he was expecting to be able to spend money, and then it ended up not being the case. So it's it's disappointing, it's upsetting that you're seeing teams, small market teams, still taking the same route, which is, you know what, we're okay not being competitive right now because we don't think we'll make the playoffs and we'll just kind of bank any other money that we are able to make off the season and off off of the TV sales and anything else, and, and we'll be competitive maybe a couple years down the road, but we'll see what's going on then. Well, Rick, you know, it's interesting. Derek Jeter is a guy who basically has never quit anything in his entire life. I mean, part of the Jeter legend is overcoming, making 56 errors in his first full pro season and grinding and grinding till he overcame deficiencies, and then he roared up to the major leagues and was obviously a star his entire time there, uh, in, in part because of an exemplary work ethic and, and, and drive. and. So to me, this whole thing, the abruptness of this, just smacks of he and the rest of the ownership group not seeing eye to eye. Now, if we, you know, in New York, we know Jeter pretty well, right? A winner, right? I mean, a guy who did, wanted nothing more than to win, didn't care about individual accolades, all that sort of stuff. Win, 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 rings, rings, rings. Now, where does that leave the Marlins? I think the, uh, the conclusion is inescapable, and it's unfortunate. Against the backdrop of the labor negotiations, this can't look good for MLB.